so that was actually the, Joe Silva said it was the first time he's ever came in the ring and said good job to the loser and ignored the winner. He was mad. He didn't even go over there and shake his hand. He just came in and said good job, John. You're gonna be back. Thanks for bringing you know bringing the fight to him. He goes, I know it was hard against a guy like that, and he just walked out of the octagon. Didn't even go over to Bocek, and afterwards he's like, that's the first time I've ever done that. Just so you know, like sometimes I'll go over there to scold them, but he just didn't even go bother going over there. So he, they were pissed at, at Bocek, I guess. What were your thoughts with the fight? I know you had been upset, obviously, but you, you put on a good fight. And you yeah. took the fight in two weeks' notice. Two weeks' notice, had a lot of weight to drop, made the weight, you know, so everything went really smooth there. Um, the fight went pretty good, you know, I let him score a few too many takedowns in the first two rounds, and, and that's what won him the first two. Uh, I won the third round. Um, I was like close to, you know, getting that knockout punch. You know, I felt like he was backpedaling a lot, and he was done basically. And if I, there would have been one more round, I think I would have, you know, finished him. But what can you do? I gave up the first two rounds, and you know, it was just because of wrestling. So, what are your thoughts on that, man? It seems like wrestling is kind of taking over the sport these days. Um, yeah. Wouldn't you like to see like the yellow card coming back into effect? Yeah, uh, definitely. If it's if it's going to be stalling. You know, it's great if you're going to wrestle and you want to wrestle and you want to get down on the ground, you want to actually do jiu-jitsu and move and change positions and like go for stuff, cool, let's do it. You know, I, I love jiu-jitsu, but if you're just wanting to hold and you're trying to grind out a decision, that's not really a fight to me, you know, and that's not what the fans are here to see. And I think refs should stand it up more often and if they continue to do it, yeah, they should be punished for it, for sure, you know. What was your thoughts when you first got the call uh, to return back to the UFC, even though it was on short notice? I was freaking out, man. I, I was so happy. It's been literally a, sorry, it's been like six years um, that I've been trying to get back in there, and so to finally get that call, you know, it was just like disbelief because it was the day after April Fools. So I thought maybe Joseph was trying to be mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it was a dream come true, and uh, not, it could have been George St. Pierre, it could have been Anderson Silva, Fedor Emelianenko. I would have took the fight, no, no questions asked. So it really means that much to you to be fighting for the premier organization right now? Uh, absolutely. You know, I mean, I've been fighting forever, and I always say this: I'm like the most famous, unfamous person. You know, because like I've been doing it forever. Hardcore people know who I am, but your average fan doesn't have a freaking clue. Why is that? UFC. They only think there's UFC. It's not MMA, you know. And but uh, credit UFC for marketing so well and being the top show. But hey, there's a lot of other shows out there, you know, that are starting these guys off, you know, before they get into the UFC and you know they don't get enough TV or whatever it is. People aren't watching it enough. But it's the way it goes, you know. When you got the call uh, to return to fight Shane Roller uh, here in your hometown, Las Vegas, uh, what went through your head for that? For that phone call and how happy are you to be fighting here at home? Pumped. I mean, the only better place it could have been was in my hometown of Canada. Why not my second hometown of Las Vegas? So perfect, you know, don't have to travel, don't have to deal with any of that stuff, make weight here in my own house, do all that stuff. So it makes it a lot easier, you know, mentally and physically. Um, fighting Roller, it's a great fight, you know. He's, he's been in the UFC, WC for a while. Um, you know, he's dropped three fights in a row. I've dropped a couple fights in the UFC in a row. So it's kind of do or die for both of us here. And uh, I think that that spells fireworks. I mean, we're fighting for our lives here, basically. At least I am. I don't know what's going through his head. He should have the same attitude as me. But if he doesn't, then I'm definitely coming out on top. Would you consider this the most important fight of your career? Absolutely. This is, this is what decides, you know, the rest of my career. Am I going to be back outside the UFC fighting to get back in and making a living outside or do I get to stay in the big show and keep my job? How tough is that fighting outside the UFC? I've actually been blessed outside the UFC. i got to be honest. Um, I've main evented a lot of shows because of my experience, you know, and I've, I've got to travel a lot, so I got paid decent, so it's been good for me. Uh, there's a lot of guys out there that it's not so good for, you know, they don't have the name or or experience or whatever it is, connections, the time they put into the sport, so they don't get the big fights, you know, outside of the UFC. But for me, it's worked out really good, so uh, that's a blessing. Enter code HUB749 for a domain name discount and enter the codes below for other great discounts from GoDaddy.com.